This video will focus on the emergence of extreme sports as entertainment. And you can see as part of the dot point, deconstructing media messages, images, and amount of coverage, there is a specific focus on the emergence of extreme sports as entertainment. And we'll look at whether the media has pushed extreme sports to take excessive risks. Extreme sports have a high element of risk. And they've been around for many years. And some of the earliest forms included bareback horse racing, parachuting and mountaineering, big wave surfing, rock and ice climbing, skateboarding and BMX. And overall, they've been looking for ways to make headlines and push sports to more extreme levels over the years to try and increase public recognition. You can see a few examples there on the screen, base jumping, street luge, BMX stunt jumping and big wave surfing have been popular forms of extreme sports. Athletes take up extreme sports to expand their skills and to seek out new challenges and also to release adrenaline and they're attracted to this danger factor. This idea of an extreme sport is attractive to some athletes and spectators have an increasing need to be entertained in new and exciting ways while remaining in their own comfort zones. The rise of extreme sports can be put down to the younger generation seeking out more exciting and new ways of getting active. And many young people reject traditional sports. So sports like soccer, cricket, uh, football, generally some of these sports just don't appeal to some younger people. And so there's a desire to reject authority and do something different, something adrenaline fueled and exciting. And the younger generation could be a reason why the extreme sports industry is increasing in popularity. It's an unpredictable type of sport, and sometimes the attraction leads them to natural environments such as wind, rain, snow, and other different terrains. And so the popularity of extreme sports can be put down to people wanting to push themselves to the limit. And with technology improving, new footage can be loaded online very quickly and this increases the demand for people engaging in some of these extreme sports. Young people can become celebrities overnight if they do something extreme and put it on YouTube, for example. And so this can empower the young untrained athletes to perform more dangerous stunts and activities to meet the viral demand for this type of thing. And so technology has allowed spectators to watch in the comfort of their own home. And for athletes, it's about using cameras that might be either handheld or could be attached to a helmet or something like that to attract or to capture the footage. And so the GoPro has been a good example of a camera that could be used in a range of different sports to capture the athlete's perspective. And if people are doing something extreme, then it makes it all the more exciting to watch from the spectator's perspective. So television networks have realized the benefits of this and so they've created some close relationships with extreme sports producers and they have been popular for audiences. And these types of sports generally don't have as large overhead costs when compared with traditional sports like the AFL or the NRL who you know, really have to pay a lot of money to secure the stadiums and to ensure the safety of all of their athletes. With extreme sports, athletes can pursue their sport on a lower budget and that allows more athletes to take this up. And the creation of the X Games has been in response to the demand for competition in extreme sports such as BMX, skateboarding and motorbike riding. And this has allowed a, a huge following worldwide and attracted sponsorships. And the GoPro camera has been a great way to capture extreme sports and package it up ready for the media to use on their various platforms. And so the problem with extreme sports is that people are continually trying to push the boundaries. And this means that some extreme sports no longer become extreme because there are people out there doing more extreme stunts. And so the more traditional extreme sports might suffer from little recognition. And it's important to note that this can make people take greater risks and further endanger their safety. So no longer are single or simple stunts acceptable or desirable from the viewer. 
they're wanting more dangerous stunts and it's becoming an issue that given that extreme sports lack governing bodies to regulate the safety of the athletes it means that people can take these risks without being scrutinized and so this means that the safety is a great concern for those athletes and then there is the issue of insurance for those athletes that are taking part because physical injury is always a possibility in every sport the more extreme the sport the higher the likelihood of injury and of course some competitors have died in the past and so this means that the risk is extremely high and the boundaries are continuously being pushed so you need to think to yourself what role is the media playing in pushing the athletes to take these extreme risks and the X Games were created in response to the popularity of extreme sports. And this is a, an example of a highly regulated event that would provide a higher level of safety for the athletes involved. Another reason why extreme sports have become more popular is that they're cheaper to broadcast and organise. So television really is the most accessible source of entertainment for most people. And of course online as technology has improved. And stations receive income by broadcasting programs that will attract audiences for advertisers. There is a high demand for very cost-effective programs. So those programs that are cheaper to create and will still bring in lots of advertising revenue. Traditional sports, the purchase of television rights, as we've discussed in previous videos, large stadiums need to be filled and games need to be played at specific times of the year, this can all be very expensive. And the amount of money that is being poured into traditional sports is so large that this means that extreme sports become quite desirable for TV networks because they require fewer people to be involved, lower production costs, and they can be stored online and released when needed and can fill gaps in traditional sports coverage. And we sometimes see this in some of the sports variety shows. For example, in the off-season when the major traditional sports have finished, we see more extreme sports footage being shown to the audience. And so with this extreme coverage to satisfy the high demand for new entertainment, the media has pushed athletes to take more extreme risks and so jumping higher, going faster, and doing more complicated maneuvers means that the safety of the athlete is at greater risk. And because the audience wants to be part of the action, it means people are often taking risks in terms of how the events are being filmed, helmet-mounted cameras are being used, and sometimes camera operators, if they're used, may put themselves at risk in the same environment, particularly if close-up action is what is required. So there are plenty of disadvantages for extreme sports and some of them may be that they are self-regulatory which means that they may not have a governing body that really is focused on safety of the athletes and there might be a grey area regarding rules, perhaps they're not consistent across all of the different extreme sports and sometimes the final edited packages that people see don't reflect the high level of skill and risk and training required and this might encourage copycats to try things, particularly young people and that might lead to unwanted injuries. And the evidence of the major injuries may not actually be publicised, and we, so we might not be seeing the true impact on the athletes. Extreme sports people are usually ex experienced athletes, and they practice for a long time using safety equipment, etc. And so the coverage might actually encourage inexperienced athletes to give it a try, and that would increase their risk of injury, obviously. And so the inexperienced athlete is the one we're thinking about here. They could miscalculate the risk and they'll be very unprepared. And of course, injury risk is high. So moving on to this final question here, analyze the impact of extreme sports in Australian society. You need to think about how the media is engaged with extreme sports and the opportunities available for the media. The entertainment factor for the spectators, how it encourages people to watch and satisfies their needs but also the impact on the athletes themselves some of the athletes may be making a lot of money out of extreme sports which is a, an impact for the athletes but it also could be very risky for those involved and this could also be encouraging young athletes to to take these risks and increase the likelihood of injury for them 
So thank you very much for listening.